Alright guys, welcome back to another killer video today, and today we have a little bit of Michael Myers, who in my opinion is one of the most middle of the pack killers you could ask for in this game. It's not a bad thing of course, he's honestly just your standard killer in my opinion, who whose power does allow him to go above and beyond what some of the weaker killers can do. But let's get right into our build today. First off, for our perks, we have Hex of Our Hope. You guys already know what this does. You gain tokens whenever somebody's whenever you somebody gets unhooked, and you're 24 meters or more away from the hook. At two tokens, you get 5% haste, which I believe is bug, so you don't get it. At three tokens, you can one-shot people, and at five tokens, you can mori them on the ground. Next up, we have Haunted Grounds. Haunted Grounds is another hex perk that spawns two hex totems that are trapped around the map, and if anybody breaks either of these hex totems, the, the entire team will suffer from the exposed status effect for 60 seconds, meaning they can be one shot for 60 seconds. Now for play with your food, play with your food is a perk where if you start and lose a chase with your obsession, you gain one token all the way up to three tokens. It once For each token, you get 5% faster movement speed. This is extremely important with our, with our build today and make your choice it's going to be our last perk whenever you're 32 meters or more away from the hook and an unhook happens whoever did the unhook will have make your choice applied to them meaning that they'll be exposed for 50 seconds at tier 2 but it's 60 seconds at tier 3 <coughs> so essentially what this means is you can one shot whoever did the unhook in action for 60 seconds if as long as you can find them of course now let's get into the bread and butter of this build. The add-ons, these add-ons are extremely, they change Michael's power a lot, at least well, one of them changes him a lot. So you might remember Michael's power, generally uh, what it's used for is you want to stalk people so you can get out of your tier 1 stage of your power into the tier 2. At tier 1, you move significantly slower, I, be I believe you move 105% movement speed, so just barely faster than a running survivor. And you have no terror radius, no red stain, and a very, very short swing. So let's see what our add-ons are going to be today to help out with that. For our add-ons, we're going to be running Scratched Mirror. Now, generally, as I said, you want to stock to get from evil within 1 to evil within 2. Once you get to tier 2, you become a regular killer with a small terror radius. And that's what you, that's what you get from stalking people as Michael. And of course, from there, you can go and stalk them into tier 3, where you can one-shot anybody you want. But we're going to be foregoing all of that today as we're going to be running Scratch Mirror, which is an add-on that locks you into Tier 1. It makes it so you can't stock up to get the, the regular movement speed, the longer swings. What this does, though, in return, is it makes it so that you can see where survivors are within 32 meters of you at all times as long as you're stalking with the Scratch Mirror. So essentially, you, can, you have wall hacks, really, is what it is. <laughs> and... This is a very strong add-on for small for maps that are small or closed in because of its sheer ability to just allow you to come up on survivors from a weird angle. This is a really cool add-on and even though it locks you into the 105% movement speed with the tiny little swing, it really will be it hopefully will be a pretty fun build to run today. Now we're going to be running an add-on to help out with at least a, one part of his uh, weaknesses in Tier 1. The Boyfriend's Memo. Boyfriend's Memo is an add-on that slightly increases the lunge range of Evil Within 1. Your Tier 1 range where you basically just flap in the air like a, a centimeter in front of you. All of a sudden it lets you go for a bit of a longer swing. <laughs> kind of it gives you a little bit more distance, yeah. But... Even with the boyfriend's memo, your swing is still extremely short. You cannot lunge at all, really. And something very important to this build, in my opinion, is a map offering. I know I've said in the past I don't like map offerings, but that's generally because... And I mean, I guess you'll probably see why today with this build, but map offerings just give one side such a heavy advantage because they know what their plan is going in with this map. So I'm going to be bringing the Shattered Glasses to send us to Larry's Memorial Institute. And Larry's is a map that's an indoor map, very closed in, a lot of walls to break line of sight. So essentially what the plan is going to be is I'm going to hit somebody, try and leave them, and come back to them either from a different angle or just come back later. And Larry's is a map that will allow me to do that because it's a small map with low visibility. So essentially I can sneak up on people a lot more effectively. But anyways guys, let's get right into the video. 
All right, so first thing with this build, you want to see who is your obsession. So I saw all their names by hitting options, and I see it's Dr. Saki, and it's going to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's a Dwight, yeah. So, I know my obsession is a Dwight, that's going to be who I'm looking for mainly, because I want to get played with the food stacks as much as, as often as possible, basically. There's three of them here, I love it. I think Dwight has fine chill. Can I get a pull? Oh, that would have been awesome if I got a pull. Was that Dwight? Yep, there we go. Now I gain a stack from losing him. And I can go chase down wherever this injured Claudia is. And since I have no Terry, she's gonna have no idea where I am. Look at her just fucking running, dude. Jesus. She's get if this is my totem, she's gonna get one shot right now. This girl breaking my totem. Oh my god, it takes so long to get in this fucking room. She <laughs> Grounds, dude. Hello, gamers. Ooh, big pal drop. I'm actually gonna leave him momentarily just so I can get my stack and I can chase after him a little bit faster. Alright, the other Claudette's probably healing across the map if I had to take a wild guess. Where does he go? Oh, here he is. Hello, gamer. Oh my god, the haunted grounds value, dude. Where's the other one? Fuck it, I wanna win right now. Okay, I guess she's not here. I'll just pick this girl up. <laughs> it's actually really smart of the Claudette to stay as far away from me as possible. I think she kinda figured out I have, um... I think this might be a sort of friends, because actually all, a lot of them are, uh, uh, blood point offerings. So I'm thinking that maybe they've figured out that I have, uh, scratch here. So, honestly, staying away from me is the best play that Claudette could have uh, made. She just picked up the other girl, so I'm not worried about her pallet saving, because I know that the other girl is very far away from me, because I can't see her with my scratch mirror. And now, soon, Hunter Ground will activate. There we go. There's... Oh, that's not Hunter Ground. Never mind. There's Haunted Grounds, and I want to see where this person is going. It doesn't matter, because they're all injured anyway. Someone here? Wait. Someone's in a locker, dude. Oh no. Who just healed? Oh, inner strength. Yeah, too bad I'm right here. <laughs> I can't actually swing till I get so close to them because of how the fucking because of how short my my lunge is. Hey gamer. Can I get in the chase with him? Wait, he's not my obsession? No, he is my Dead hard. Ah, that was greedy. I shouldn't have gone for that. Where's the droid? That's him. I'm gonna come back up and get my stack. Did someone just run up behind me? Okay, it sounded like someone just ran up behind me. He's gonna heal over here, isn't he? <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, he definitely hasn't realized that I have Mirror Myers. Oh, did my Devour Hope break? I didn't even realize. I think that was, I think it broke right when somebody was vaulting the window over and over again to be an asshole. I, I really hope they come get him, because I don't, I, honestly, I want the Dwight to die last, since I have play with their food. Because if he dies last, that means I get the, um, I can keep building stacks off him over and over again. Aw, uh, she saw me. Or she fucking killed himself, of course. Yeah, this Claudia, I... I don't know what she's doing, and I don't think she does either. Oh, that was where I hope. Is there, is there someone else here? Yep, look at her. She's gonna come for the flashlight save? She is spine chilled. You see how she's camping the pallet? Or she saw me through that window. Hold on. She either has fine chill or she saw him through that tiny little window. I'm gonna scare the shit out of this Meg. Hey! <laughs> it, okay, well, I should've got it. She has lies, okay. I should've gotten that hit. If she had gone for the pallet, I definitely wouldn't have gotten the hit, so that would've been the right play for her to make. 
I want to. I really want to scare her. These guys healed, uh, picked up, and then ran away immediately. So she. No, she doesn't know spine chill. She doesn't know I'm here. She's still gonna be looking behind her, so I can't get her wall, But I still scare the shit out of her. <laughs> I should have brought Nemesis. <laughs> I, this build is so much fun, man. You can just see what they're doing. I need to break off, though, when she turns this corner. She's quick and quiet. That's good to know. You can't just chase in a straight line with this build. You move way too slow. I'm going to come back and kick this pallet. And I'm gonna kick the generator, because as I said, these guys brought an ass load of blood point offerings, so you know what? I'll make the best of it. As many blood points as I can. There's someone here working on the generator, maybe I can pull them. That'd be fun. No, I can't pull them. There's no way I got the angle here. Wait, they're on the other side. She didn't even realize she was looking behind her the entire time. I thought she was on this close side to the wall. I was wrong. Boy was I wrong. Where are the other two? I think they're just rushing a gen somewhere. I mean, not rushing, obviously, but working on a gen. She just went in a locker with her strength. Which will be proved completely useless when I pull her out of it right here. You know, a friend of mine brought up a good point. When killers find people in a locker, why don't they just fucking stab them? <laughs> like, they stab next to them. Why? Why not just stab directly at them? That other girl got in the generator. I think this girl is. I think they have spy chill. I think that's why they've been playing the way they have. Look at her just running away over and over again, because she knows I'm looking at her. She just doesn't know from where. And this girl definitely has spy chill. I'm 100% sure of that. She doesn't give a fuck. Whatever. She can't finish that gen in time. And I want to kick this gen for points yet again. Aw, uh, man. That sucks. I was really hoping there'd be a door there. Because that would let me get a hit on her. There we go. That's the pallet kick. That was greedy. I can still hear your breathing when you flashlight uh, me at her pallet. Look, I'm actually losing distance on her right now, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I want to find where the other Claudia is, ideally, with Make Your Choice. She just got in a locker, so that was inner strength for her. I don't see where the other one is, the other one literally just hit an- Oh my god, why- Why are you here?! I didn't think this- I, th I looked away from this Meg because I thought she wouldn't, you know, be right in my fucking face. Is she alive? Yep, she does. She ran right back into me with it. People with live just get so fucking desperate to use their perk that they never use it effectively. Alright, I got a hit on her here, so I'm just gonna back off and do something else. Okay. Alright, I'll kick this and leave. Yeah, that Claudette that got hit by Maker's Choice, I'm pretty sure literally just either hit in a locker the entire time make, uh, Maker's Choice, which, I mean, good for me, 50 seconds that she's not doing anything useful, and I thought I heard someone above me. She's so scared. Look how terrified she is! <laughs> She thinks I'm going to be coming from behind her. I want to scare the shit out of her right now. Okay, one of these guys is over here. Peekaboo! Ah, <laughs> uh, this Claudia has literally no fucking idea where the corner is. Window? Aw. Uh. So something to note about tier 1 Myers as well is you don't actually have a tear radius, or I mean a, a red stain. Is she gonna get on this generator now? Hmm. There's this Claudette. Oh, uh, but yeah, you don't have a red stain, so you can mind game pallets really easily. I'm gonna walk to the right when I 
of this flash side blind. Because I know she's going to go for the pickup. Oh, uh, Meg was not recovering enough, huh? <laughs> Gamer moment. Where the fuck? Oh, she's over there. See, I'm going to piss her off by just doing this. She wants to flash side blind so bad. I'm going to drop this girl. I don't want... I don't like when people rush gens like this. It's toxic. Window? Nope. She's gonna pick up the mag, I don't care. But it pisses me off when people do gens right in my face as a killer. Like, <laughs> that's actually the most disrespectful thing you can do. The other Claudette's feeling really good about herself right now, so that's why she was clicking her flash side at me, but... I mean, I literally just let her get the... I'm letting her get the pick up for free, basically, by doing this. Now they both ran away, because even though she's a cocky Claudette... Ooh, Meg got in a locker immediately. Does she have inner strength still? I'm gonna look in the bottom left and see if she gets healed up in the next few seconds, because I'm pretty sure she jumped into a locker immediately. Hmm. I'm gonna check this locker, actually. Uh, no, are you in here? No, I don't hear her. And she doesn't have Iron Will, so I would definitely be able to hear her. I didn't get make your choice, really? They're just gonna sit on the gen. Yeah, there's fine chill, that's why the Claudette ran off early on. This Claudette doesn't have fine chill. Look at her! Alright, she's gonna think I'm chasing the other Claudette, and I'm gonna come back and get it down to her. She's gonna be able to finish the gen, but I can get it down. Or not. Oh, she had Dead Heart. She's literally never used Dead Heart the entire time. You know, honestly, I think I might even just pick her up to ho in hopes that she does have uh, decisive. But first, I want to get the crown points. So I'm gonna just check real quick. Someone's around here, but I think they're in a locker as well. I'm just gonna check this room, see if I can find a locker, and if I can't, then okay. I just wanted to check it because I saw scratch marks, but I think they just kept running. Honestly, All right, someone's probably gonna finish that gen over to the left. Which is fine. Not much I can do about that. Decisive? Nope. No decisive. I was hoping she would have decisive so I could have an obsession again and I could keep getting stacks. Oh, she's not even dead on hook. That's actually not. That's actually kind of surprising. I thought she was dead. Alright, they did that gen. That's fine by me. I mean, this uh, with them losing that, that Dwight so early on, this game is basically over from the beginning. I'm just having fun with this and letting the game go on for longer because goddamn this build is fucking fun, dude. Someone's gonna run up on the left, I'm pretty sure. If they do those two gens over there, then they get three gens, so I don't really mind. Are they literally just sitting on gens over here? Now they're healing. I don't know where they are because I'm pretty sure that last gen is in range of my shattered glass or my scratch mirror shattered glass what the fuck it's a song <laughs> palette so I'm not gonna bother I told you people with live don't know how to use it correctly at all she literally just ran right into me I mean granted I didn't get to hit on her cause I cause I'm tier 1 Myers but any other killer would have gotten a kill on her right there. I think the other Claudette's going to the spec generator. Yep. She's going to think I'm chasing the mag. I'm going to do the exact same thing. She was looking behind her, which was smart of her. I think she has dead heart, and this pallet's literally un uncounterable. Oh, I couldn't hear her. She is... See, this is the one time where we're blinding a pallet is helpful is when you have Iron Will, and even then, you can still hear them if you get close enough. Next, search in a chest. Claudia is not doing anything useful. <clears throat> Alright, this already kicked. I. <laughs> I was not paying attention. <laughs> I'm gonna come out and kick this pallet because this is another pallet. I mean, just in general, pallets just against weird fires basically mean you're completely safe. Did these guys run across the entire map to heal again? I feel like this Meg is in a locker somewhere. Nope, she is not. 
I don't want to look at her, just so the chase piece doesn't start. Oh, she knows I'm here. Don't worry, I also can't pallets for fun. Alright, I'll let her drop it, because when she drops it, she's, there's, I mean, what's she gonna do, right? Eventually, they're gonna run out of the pallets on this map. And I'm gonna come back and check, because this cloud has been pretty aggressive, so I'm expecting her to be on this generator again. I can't see if it has sparks still. Okay, it definitely doesn't. Or, it definitely does, I mean. I really can't tell if it has sparks, honestly. Man, if I had my obsession, this would be so much more fun. I could move around so much faster to patrol generators and shit. Alright, someone's working this generator. And this meg's about to go down as well. Nope, doesn't matter. I don't- that meg, I don't think, knows where she is on the map, I'm gonna be honest. This is a very confusing map, even for, uh, survivors. Oh, look how slow I am in this chase. Oh. You're screwed. It's game over, Claudette. Give me your flashlight. Give me your flashlight. Give me your flashlight and you live. Nope. <laughs> if she dropped her flashlight, I would have let her live. For a little longer, at least. Probably would have killed her later on. <laughs> Time to hook you. Nope. Hello. Thank you. Is she dead yet? Nope. Actually, is that my first hook on her? I think that is my first hook on her. She's been playing really smart. I'm gonna come back towards this generator, see if I can find the Megan. No idea where she is. I'm still gonna come kick the generator so, uh, so I can get and make your choice range. And also, you know, points. <laughs> points are the name of the game. Alright, I'm gonna get a little closer before I saw because it slows you down a lot, actually. I'm gonna stand right here, she's not gonna know where I am. <laughs> I love Mir Myers so much. She had no idea where it is. Obsession? Oh. Yeah! Let me get in the chase with you. Let me get in the chase with you. No, you're toxic. Let me get in the chase with you. Oh my god, it takes so much to get in the chase. I'm staring right fucking at her. Smart of her to double back there. She's literally just gonna wait there. I literally all I want is a chase. All I want is a game. Okay. Oops. I'm gonna make sure I don't look at her while I'm trying to lose a chase. Of course, she runs right back into me. All right. I lost chase. I'm five percent faster now, so I'm one oh five percent movement speed. I think. She's literally just making distance. This is how you play against Mirror Myers. Hey, Megan. Well, you're fine. She'll have an ass. All right. Let's so make use live to get to a God Palace. This palette's literally unplayable as a or unmind gameable as a killer. See, you have zero chance of winning this palette without just forcing it down. So I'm gonna leave her and go somewhere else because it's futile. There's no point. I guarantee you she's not going to move away from this pallet. Oh my gosh, she moved away from the pallet? That's such a safe pallet. Is she going to run towards me? Take a left. Take a left. Take a left. Nice. Locker? Is she going to go in her locker? Of, of safety? Nope. <laughs> ah, I love, I love, I love Mirror Myers so much. Actually, I'm going to drop her because I do want the other girl. I want my points. She's probably in that back generator again. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I was really surprised that Meg didn't camp that pallet, though. That was real weird. Especially after, you know, I literally left after chasing for a little bit on it. Most people at that point would just stay at it because they know it's a safe area. Hey, gamer. That hard gamer. Oh. Yeah, there's no chance. But, you know what? I have max points. I really don't care. I'm not gonna try and. I'm not gonna break that pallet because that's a very, very unsafe pallet. Ah. Easy.
easy hit on the Claudette. I'm gonna go find the Meg first. Because she's about to die. Or, I mean, not about to, but she's gonna bleed out soon. And I don't like letting people bleed out, because I know it's not fun at all. I had, um... Actually, like, back when I first started playing this game, probably within my first, like, ten games of Survivor, I had, uh... She had an Unbreakable, of course. This Claudette might- or this Meg might wiggle out, actually. If, especially if the game doesn't let me hook. Jesus. One of the first experiences I had as a survivor in this game, though, was a, per a killer that literally just dropped us- uh, he downed us and literally did nothing but just sit there and watch us on the ground. So that was a pretty unpleasant first experience as a survivor. Oh, she got the hatch. Damn it, dude! I wanted my 4k. <laughs> I should have picked the Claudette up. I knew she probably had Unbreakable. She hit, she was running. She was playing like a like a meta using Survivor. But oh well, it's fine. Man, these offerings are still bugged and people are still using. They literally just put out a newsletter about how these offerings are bugged, and you can't avoid it. You literally have to see it when you log into the game, and people are still using them. They're supposed to give you a hundred. 4% extra blood points at the end of the game, and they're just not doing anything at all. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.